Selfishness ruins everything. Just about everything we do, we say, directly or indirectly, affects other people. Our social media mirrors our society, and that current state is all about the culture of me. Everything we see, everything we consume, is all about the consumption of me. Today's social and political climate, we ask ourselves the question, why do so many, why are so many of us so selfish? Why do so many of us put ourselves first ahead of others? Or maybe the better question is, why are fewer of us willing to serve? Selflessness, an example of selflessness, would you put yourself first at the detriment of others? When you take that last piece of cake, knowing that others are gonna go it out because of your greed, you benefit even though you didn't need to. Perhaps you can blame it on the coronavirus, a virus that put our lives on hold, that tested our true character, a test by a large, if you listen to the media and the news reports, a test that we failed. We were at each other's throats over wearing masks. We were arguing about the facts of the pandemic. There was blatant racism everywhere. And it all appeared to be driven by pure selfishness towards one another. A feeling that was even demonstrated by our country's leadership on all sides of the political spectrum. Our military is struggling to find the recruits to fill its ranks that are willing to be of service. The branches are, have lowered the standards and they are offering tens of thousands of dollars of sign-on bonuses but even after doing this, the Army this year was nearly 20,000 soldiers short. You see, this is an example of how money and the power of me don't solve the problem. How do we solve the problem, you ask? We solve the problem from the inside out. We solve the problem by going back to the basics, by putting others first, and bridging the gap with selfless service. The greatest thing a human being can be or do is to serve others. The truest form of selfless service is when you give without wanting anything in return. That is the spirit in which we should give. Just like a soldier in combat willing to lay his or her life down for one another. And that's when it hit me. If we are going to make this world, this community, a better place, we are going to have to bring the value of selfless service back. Not just service to our country, but service to one another. And here's how we do it. By being humble, by being encouraging, by being kind, by serving. As a former commander in combat, an Army Ranger, an 82nd Airborne Paratrooper, a North Carolina State Trooper, and son to a Chief Master Sergeant United States Air Force, my motto has always been, it's not about me, it never has been, it never will be. It was ingrained in me from birth to be of service to others. And sometimes that meant I had to sacrifice for others. The team comes first. I'm reminded by the quote by Marcus Aurelius, that which isn't good for the hive isn't good for the bee. We are in this together. Our fates are intertwined with one another. One of the reasons I joined the military was before I joined, I felt invisible to the world. 
I had no meaning. I had no purpose. I felt like I didn't belong anywhere. I had the most amazing parents that a son could possibly have. They were kind, supportive, and caring. I can truly say that they have demonstrated a life of selfless service to every one of us. And they have loved me unconditionally. When I was younger, I didn't get it. I thought it was the title. I thought it was the uniform that defined me. I thought it was the success. But in reality, our fulfillment, our value does not come from success or our position. As I look back on my military career, I didn't realize how ingrained selfless service had become intertwined into my DNA, into my every aspect of who I am. Now that I'm not in the military, am I supposed to be more selfish? Is it all about me and who I want to be? I shake my head and I remind myself that we all are struggling with something. And we all want to be part of something bigger than ourselves. 200,000 men and women in this country leave the military every year. We are arriving at your doorstep with baggage. We are not the same when we get out. We have left our only family, our only life, our only meaning that we've ever had. During this transformation and, and transition, we lose our identity. We all go through battlefields in our minds. The nature of people are driven by profit and ego. We are conditioned by others, our families, our friends, the media. We think we are individuals, but the irony is that we are almost entirely guided by others. We are all primates. We are meant to survive and thrive in communities and tribes. We are more alike than we are different. Like you, I struggle to accept the fact that not everyone is going to accept me, like me, or understand me. But I do matter. I'm a part of this community, and I'm here to serve. We all have to do our part by doing the little things, by being patient, polite, and kind. It doesn't have to hurt. It's the kind gestures that add up. Donate your unwanted items to a family in need. Send a care package to the military that are deployed. Hold the door open so others come first. Feed the hungry so others don't starve. Offer up your seat so others can sit. Volunteer your time to be there for a friend in their darkest moments. Be kind to each other. We all can do our part. Selfless service doesn't begin and selfless service doesn't end with a contract. This attitude has the power to heal. We never lose when we give. It's not about me. It never has been. It never will be. This is your charge. All the way, airborne, let's go.